Welcome back, everybody. Thank you guys to this birthday special. In which we're going to play some PlayStation games for only four of them. Starting with Jeffrey. Tell us what we did. Let's find out together. As you can hear, my cat Tiger is with me in the studio. That's right, Tiger. We're playing Jeopardy on the PlayStation. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Okay, set the game up exactly the way you like. What'll it be? Okay, and we'll get a couple of computer contestants to play against you. Sounds good. Player one, what's your name? My name is Aubrey, and I'm putting that in right now. Yep, even though I'm doing a birthday special for someone else, I'm just going to use my own name. Welcome to Jeopardy. Have fun and good luck to all of you. Thank you. I'm ready to play. Would you like to see the categories? Yes, Here goes. Okay. Gardening. Hmm. Musicals. People in history. Three-letter words. Old Testament. Biology. All right. All right, player well, one, let's get going. Time, I shall do my best. I'll start with biology. Insensitive to light, your blind spot is where this nerve joins the eye. Player one. What is the optic nerve? To be sure. Okay, very good. All right, pick again. A hormone called glucagon raises the level of this in the blood. Player one. What is sugar? Correct. You're in first place all by yourself. All right, pick again. Pigment. Player one. What is chlorophyll? Yes. Absolutely. All right, pick again. One book describes this protozoan as a mass of living jelly. Player one. What is an amoeba? Yes. Uh-huh. All right, pick again. This part of the small intestine is named for the fact that it's about as long as the width of 12 fingers. Player one. What is the duodenum? Yes, indeed. All right. All right, pick again. We ran the category. I'll take gardening for 100. Let's go there. Hybrid perpetuals like the American Beauty were the main type of these in American gardens from 1840 to 1880. Player one. What are roses? <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. 
The sphagnum, or peat type of this plant, has been used as a bedding and packing material. Layer one. What is moss? Yes. All right. All right, pick again. Adding up here. The oscillating type of this irrigation device sprays back and forth in a rectangular pattern. Layer one. What is a sprinkler? Yes, indeed. All right. All right, pick again. Scarification is a technique where hard-shelled ones of these are scratched to help them sprout. Player three. Seeds? That's correct. Yeah, that's right. Player three. Three little words. Okay, this should be too tough. A small part for an actor. Player one. What is a fit? You are correct. Player one, it's your turn. Uh, I'll take three little words for 200. Sometimes it's just this part of the iceberg that shows. Player one? What's a tip? No. There we go. That's better. That's correct. Very good. All right. Pick again. It precedes dog, rod, and pants. Player one? What is hot? That's it. Exactly. All right, pick again. It's a promise to God. Player what one? What is a vow? That's it. All right, pick again. It's from the Latin for to choose. Hmm. Don't remember this one. Oh, Here is ah, the correct response. Ah, that makes sense. All right, pick again. Uh, let's finish gardening. Let's get that out of the way. Compared to a tree, this type of plant produces its branches near, at, or below the soil surface. Layer two. A shrub? I think so. To be sure. Yeah. All right, contestant two. All right, over to musicals. Okay. Jonathan Larson, who wrote this 1996 Pulitzer Prize winning musical, died before its opening night. Player one? Uh, what is rent? To be sure. Okay. Okay, contestant one. Uh, keep going. Part of this musical, based on a Victor Hugo novel, takes place in the Paris sewers. Player one? What is Le Miserable? Exactly. All right. All right, pick again. This 1960 musical was adapted from the T.H. White novel, The Once and Future King. Player one? Camelot? Right you are. Alright, pick again. Hooray for this actress who took over Nathan Lane's role as Pseudolus in a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Player one? Who is Whoopi Goldberg? You are correct. Absolutely. Alright, pick again. Harold Prince told the L.A. Times, this play, based on an Edna Firmer novel, has the best score ever written. I don't think it's giant, so I'm not going to Player three. In. Yeah, showboat. Yes, indeed. Yep. It's your turn, player I think I didn't buzz in. The Old Testament. All right, let's try that. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the Valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. Player one. Uh, who is Samson? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Player one, you choose. I'll take uh, the Old Testament for 200. He was a spry 600 when the flood of waters was upon the earth. Player one. Uh, who is Noah? Or is it Moses? 
Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Moses instead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's wrong. I should have chosen my first instinct. Should have gone with my first instinct. It was Noah. Player one. Oh well, it's okay. Check it off. As part of his suffering, he was smitten with sore boils from head to toe by Satan. Uh, Jer Player two. Judas. No, that's incorrect. No. Anybody? Joe. Here is the correct response. Joe. Okay, contestant All one. Right. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Psalm 122 says, Pray for the peace of this city. They shall prosper that love thee. Player one. What is Jerusalem? Oh, no. There you go. That's it. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. After Abel's murder, Cain settled in this land, east of Eden. East of Eden. Don't remember. Not, Here is the correct okay. response. That's all right. So we know that it right, doubles the category in people of, of people of history, people in history. Now it's just a matter of finding it. In 1959, <laughs> Georges Vanier became the first Roman Catholic governor general of this North American country. Player one? Uh, what is Canada? Uh, come out. Canada. That's it. That's better. All right, pick again. Uh, let's keep it going. Answer? Oh, there's the middle. 4,500. Player uh, one. Please make your wish. Che Guevara once served as president of the National Bank of this country. Player one? Che Guevara, National Bank of this country. What is Cuba? That's it. Yeah, buddy! All right, pick again. It's Cuba. On June 6, 1523, Gustav I was elected king of this country at the Diet of Strangnas. Player one. All right, I'm going to say what is um, Sweden. And I hope I'm right. Yes, indeed. Yes, I am. All right, pick again. This MP, a scientist and architect, was entombed uh, in St. Paul's Cathedral in 1723. Not going to try this. Player one. three. Leonardo da Vinci? Uh, Wrong. Don't think so. Anyone? Sir Christopher Wren. Sir Christopher Wren. Last and look. to finish the board. This author of the Battle Hymn of the Republic was the first woman in the American Academy of Arts and Letters. Player one. Uh, who is Julia Howe? Yes. Absolutely. Well, that brings us to the end of the first round. Let's look $9, at the total score so $9,800. Great start. Player three is on the board of $500. Player two is $200. Let's get ready for double jeopardy. We're doing good here, we're doing good. Let's move on to Double Jeopardy. All right, let's see what happens. Now here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. I'm ready, let's go. Signs and symbols. Cathedrals and churches, flightless birds, U.S. geography, the arts, furniture. I think I can handle this Player two, category, you go but first. I do not make the first selection. Cathedrals and churches. Okay, we can go there first. Victor Hugo described it as a vast symphony in stone. Quasimodo would agree. Player one. What is Notre Dame? Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Uh, one, it's your turn. For 400. James Renwick designed this Fifth Avenue Cathedral in the Gothic Revival style. Player what one. is St. Patrick's Cathedral? You are correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right, pick again. Keep it going. 
The Basilica of the Holy Blood in Bruges in this country contains a relic believed to be drops of Christ's blood. Player one. What is Belgium? Yes. It's Belgium. We're building right. up a big lead. All right, pick again. This English city's modern cathedral, built in 1962, stands next to the bombed-out ruins of the old one. Player one. What is uh, Coventry? Right you are. All right, pick again. The cathedral of this northern Italian city looks quite fashionable with its 135 marble spires. Player one. Uh, what is Milan? It's either Milan or Venice. I'm going to try Milan. Yep. That's correct. Pick the right one. All right, pick again. All right, let's try another one. Uh, let's do the Arts for 200. Let's go there. This classic Christmas ballet contains the Waltz of the Flowers. Player uh, one. What is the Nutcracker Suite? Correct. There you go. All right, pick again. These annual theater awards are named for Antoinette Perry. Uh, what one? are the Tony Awards? Uh, the Tonys, yeah. Just, just with the Tonys. Right you are. All right, pick again. Answer? Here we go. Let's do it. In 1995, Jerome Robbins turned this musical about teen street gangs into a, into dance. a dance floor. Uh, what is West Side Story? Player one. That's right. Absolutely right. The Slave of Duty is an alternate title for this Gilbert and Sullivan operetta about buccaneers. What is the Pirates of Penzance? right. All right, pick again. All right, we have one clue left in that category. Let's get to it. In a Verdi opera, this title slave turns out to be an Ethiopian princess. Player Who one? is Aida? Aida. Right you are. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, pick again. Oh, uh, Bloodless Birds 200. Only two species of this bird live in the Antarctic throughout the year, the Adelie and the Emperor. Player one. Uh, what is a penguin? Why, yes. All right, pick again. At one time, Australia offered a bounty for these large birds because they were destroying crops. Player one. What are emus? You are correct. All right, pick again. The solitaire is a more agile relative of this extinct bird. Player one. Uh, what is a dodo? No. No, not an option. Dodo. You are correct. All right, pick again. All right. <clears throat> Although this New Zealand bird stands only about 12 inches high, it lays eggs about 5 inches long. Player one. Right you are. All right, pick again. In central Argentina, gauchos with bolas hunt this large bird for sport. I'll give it to one of the computer players because I don't remember this one. Player two. The turkey? I don't think so. No, that's incorrect. I don't think that's right. Anybody? Here the is Raya. the correct response. Oh, yeah. 
All right, pick again. Okay, let's try for a team effort. One may be dining, Parsons, or drawing. Player one. Table. Yes. All right, pick again. A low seat with no back and three or four legs. One in a bar is usually taller. Player one. A stool. To be sure. All right, pick again. This piece of hall furniture is specifically for holding bumper shoots. What is Player an one? umbrella stand? You are correct. All right, pick again. 30 grand we have right now. Let's keep going. In this process of distressing new furniture to look old, Birdshot may be used to create wormholes. Uh, what is antiquing? Player one. Player one. Player one. That's right. Yeah. All right, pick again. Let's keep going. It's the French equivalent French of a whatnot. whatnot. Oh boy. Not gonna try it. Player three. A je ne sais quoi? No. Good guess, but that's incorrect, unfortunately. Anybody? I don't even know what that is. It's an antagir. Antagir. I, I don't know how you say it, but either way. All right, pick again. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Let's just go to signs and symbols for 200. A heart with an arrow through it is often used to symbolize this holiday. Player one. What is Valentine's Day? That's it. All right, pick again. The C that represents this number in Roman numerals may stand for centum. Uh, what one? is 100? Why, yes. Okay. All right, pick again. The answer is a... Let's try for 23,000. A symbol of evil in some cultures, this mythical beast has represented power and fertility in China. Take a look at your monitor. What is a dragon? Player one. Exactly. It's the national That's symbol of, of Canada. Canada. Um, what is a Player one? Exactly. Yeah. All right, pick again. It's the term for the and sign used in typing and printing. Um, what's Player an one? ampersand? Right you are. Thank you. All right, pick again. Now all that's left is U.S. geography. We shouldn't have a problem here. Galesburg, seat of this state's Knox County, was the site of a Lincoln-Douglas debate. It's Knox County. Uh, Player one. I'm just going to guess on this. Uh, Kentucky or Tennessee. Um, let's go with Kentucky. It's a 50 -50. Sorry, that's incorrect. It's not Kentucky. It was Illinois. I was close. I was close. All right, it was Illinois, again. not Kentucky. A railroad president named Aberdeen, South Dakota for his birthplace in this country. Uh, what one? is uh, Scotland? Oh. Uh, okay. That's it, exactly. It's Scotland, yeah. All right, pick again. Keep going. This largest Oregon city is home to the International Rose Test Gardens. Uh, what is Portland? 
No, uh, Poseidon. For land. That's correct. <coughs> All right, pick again. Good luck, we'll get you. Johns Hopkins University in this city is the home of the Lacrosse Hall of Fame. Player one? Uh, Johns Hopkins, I think that's in Baltimore, so I'm going to say one of these Baltimore. Right you are. It's in Baltimore, yep. Yeah. Last clip. And to finish the board. Located in Kentucky, it's the site the of the U.S. Bullion gold bullion depository. depository. Um, what is one? Fort Knox? Exactly. That's the end of Double Jeopardy. Let's take a look at the scores. I'm the only player with any money, so I'm going to be the only one left for Final Jeopardy. Ow. This is a little anticlimactic, I know, but here goes. It's all going to depend on the category. Now here's our final Jeopardy category. Travel and tourism. Sorry, player two, you have to sit this one out. Sorry, player three, you have to sit this one out. Player one, please make your wager. Uh, 59,399, I'm gonna wager everything but a buck. <clears throat> All right, here's the answer. Good luck. Let's see how everyone did. Thanks, Johnny. Wow. Player one, let's take a look at your question. Very good. Now, what was your wager? Sign up with $118,799. That puts you in the lead. See you all for another game, everybody. Congratulations, player one. You're the Jeopardy champion. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Great game.